Hey guys and welcome back for another crochet tutorial. Today we will be making these really adorable baby pants. This will be a newborn size and I am making these actually for my photography photo shoot. So I will be working with worsted weight yarn. I have red heart in white and then red heart soft in this pink color. I'm not exactly sure the exact name of it. And then I'll be using a five millimeter hook. So to start off, we're going to start with the waistband and we are going to put a slip knot on our hook and we are going to chain eight. So it's actually chain seven, but we are doing the eighth chain because we will be um, doing our single crochets in the second from hook. So we will end up with seven stitches when we are done the next row. So single crochets all the way down and then we will chain one and we will turn our work. And then from here we are going to be making a ribbed waistband. So to get that effect you're going to put your hook into the back loop. So as you can see there is um, the stitch looks like a little V. So you're going to split the V and go into the back loop only. And you're going to work that um, all the way down this row and then you will once again chain one, turn your work, and you will continue this process until you have a band length of 14 and a half inches. So here's another row and as you can see, you can see the ribbing has started and now here's the finished product. So it's a very nice way of getting a knitted type look but using crochet. Um, so now we are going to take the band and attach it to complete the waistband. So you're just going to do um, slip stitches or single crochet down the one side. So just putting your hook through the one stitch on the one side and then going into the exact same stitch on the other side just so that you can line it up perfectly. So you could do the slip stitch but I chose to do a single crochet but they both work. And then you will have a seam here, but we're going to flip that band right side out and then you won't see the seam. And then we're going to use that seam as the center back. So that's going to be in the middle of the back, if you know what I mean. And now from here, we are going to do 50 single crochets all around the whole entire band and you're going to equally space those out. So the thing that I like to do is I like to kind of split it into quarters um, or halves and make sure that I have 25 stitches on the one half and then 25 stitches on the other half. So it's perfectly 50 stitches. So now from here, we're going to change our color. So I just um, tied a knot and secured my pink yarn and I will do two chains and then I will start doing double crochets in every stitch around. So this part is pretty easy. You're just going to go around and around. So once you've completed this round, then you will um, slip stitch into that beginning chain two and then chain two again and then start on your second row. So here I am doing my two chains and then I will continue on doing a double crochet in every single stitch again. And you will continue doing rows until you have eight total rows of the pink 
yarn. And then that's when we will start working on the pant legs. So here it is completed. So this is where I will start working on the pant legs. So the first thing you're going to do is continuing on where you were, chain two again, and then we will double crochet 24 stitches. So once you've done 24 stitches, then you will connect the last stitch to the first stitch and that will create the first pant leg. So as you can see, I fold the piece in half and then I will attach the, that stitch to the first chain two. And you can just slip stitch that. And then you will continue on for six more rows with a total of seven rows. And that will complete the entire pant leg, not including um, your trim. So continuing on, chain two and double crochet in every single stitch. And as you can see, the center seam stays right down the, the bum, I guess you can say. So there I have reattached the second row and I'm continuing on with the third row. And here is my completed pant leg. So I went ahead and um, snipped the yarn and now I'm going to attach the yarn to, com to start working on the next pant leg. So I just tie a little knot just to make sure that it's nice and secured. And then I will begin with my chain two and then double crochet in every single stitch. And as you can see, make sure that you are crocheting on the outside of the pants because if you um, accidentally flip it inside out, then you will end up crocheting it inside out. <laughs> I actually made that mistake before. So very easy, just lots of double crocheting. And this pattern does not take a lot of yarn. I used a ball and I made these pants and I also made a bonnet to match and I still have lots left over. So now I'm going to make sure that I connect this row to the first chain two and um, make sure I do it nicely because if not, then you could um, create a, a gaping hole in the crotch. So make sure that where you put your needle, you, you get it in the right spot. <laughs> Okay, so then we chain two again, and then we are going to continue on working on the rest of the pant leg with, again, a total of seven rows. And here I am attaching the second row. slip stitching to the chain two and then chain two and then continuing on. Okay, so now that I have completed my second pant leg, I actually went ahead and did my first trim. And because this is a pink color, I decided to do 
um, a little bit of a, a frilly stitch just so that it would look maybe a little bit cuter. Um, so we are going to start with um, attaching our white yarn. And we're just going to tie it in a knot to secure it. And then we are going to work half double crochets all the way around. So if you were making this for a boy, um, then you could definitely do a row of half double crochets and then um, a row of single crochets if you liked, or you know, two half double crochet rows. Um, so yeah, it doesn't have to be this. If you're making this pattern, you don't have to make this trim, <laughs> basically what I'm saying. So um, the half double crochet is you go into the stitch, pull up a loop, then you pull that loop through the three loops. So yarn over, in through the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. So I did one round and I am going to slip stitch into the chain two at the beginning and then that will be our one and only row of half double crochets and then we will work on our pico stitch is what this is called so from here we're going to chain three and this will be our first pico and then you will insert your hook into the first chain Pull up a loop and then single crochet so now you have the little triangle so that's your little peak and then you will skip one chain or one stitch and then you will do a single crochet into the next and then again you will do a chain three And then insert your hook into the first chain, pull up a loop, pull through two, and then you're going to skip the next stitch and then do a single crochet in the next. And as you can see, the little picots are starting to form. And this is actually a really girly edging and it's really pretty on um, blankets as well okay so now that I've completed the whole entire round I am now just going to do my last one insert into the first chain single crochet and now I'm just going to slip stitch into that first stitch to complete it. Oh, actually I did a single crochet there. <laughs> and now I'm just going to fasten off. So then I just weaved in my ends and then that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your fellow crocheters. And here's the little um, bonnet that I made. And I also have a tutorial for that. And so you should check that out. It's in the bottom corner there. You can click the link or there'll be a link down below. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully a crochet tutorial. Not in the too far future. Bye guys.